Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video. Um, it is my crystal and like rock collection. These are all the rocks that I have um, and I thought I'd show you guys today. I've just put them out on my Victoria's Secret robe just because I felt like the contrast of the black would like show the rocks better and I'm showing you in direct sunlight just so you can see the kind of like real life sparkle hopefully of um, the crystals that I have and the rocks that I love. So yeah, I'm going to get straight into it. I also wanted to say that if you want to see my jewellery, I put this um, little piece of, um, I think it's called Labradite, I'm not 100% sure, but if you want to see my jewellery that is like, this is like a brooch um, that has rocks on it, I have um, my entire jewellery collection up on my channel. So if you'd like to see that, go check it out. I have part one and part two and I literally show you every single piece of jewellery in my collection, including all the ones with like rocks like this in it. I won't be going through jewellery in this collection, I'll just be going through loose stones. But I'll just mention this little brooch. This was from my dad, he bought it in Chile. It says, um, Chile on the box. Um, he bought it when he went to Chile for a work trip and it's just like a little dolphin um, made of, I believe, Labradite. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, but um, I really like this little brooch. It's a little dolphin. I don't wear it much. I just like to have it. It's just on a little clip like that um, and I think it's really pretty. Okie dokie. Let's go into the actual loose stones now. Um, so I have a couple of random loose stones and then I have everything else that's like a little circle in this little... Um, container here that I thrifted. Um, I'll go through these three first. So this is rose quartz and it's just a little chunk. These three came from um, like a collecting um, rocks magazine that I used to collect when I was a kid. I only collected the first three episodes of the magazine though. So like after the first three editions, I stopped collecting them. Um, so these were the only three pieces I got. This used to be my sister's, but she gave it to me. It's just some pink rose quartz. As you can tell, it's um, just a piece of rose quartz. I love it. This one over here is um, pyrite, which is also known as fool's gold. I'm just going to focus in on it. Um, and it, as you can see, it has those like shiny aspects um, of like the fool's gold kind of um, glint through it. Um, but it's just a cool rock that I've always had and I'll always keep it because it's cool. And it was very special to me when I first got it. I was so excited to have a piece of pyrite. And this one is my amethyst. Um, it is purple. It looks a little bit faded, but over here you can probably tell it is purple. I'm um, sorry if you can see fluff. I have a dog and my house is very furry. Um, but yeah, it is amethyst. And then this is what the underneath looks like. But it's just like a little raw, like crystal geode of amethyst. It's not like polished or anything. And I think it looks really pretty. And um, I like to put it in the sun because then it can like catch the light and it shines really nicely. Over here is another thing that my dad bought for me. I believe this is jade. It's a little um, like bear. And he bought this from Canada. So this is what the bottom of the bear looks like. And it's a little carved one. And I think it was a really hot day or something. This usually lives on my windowsill in the sun. And it must have been a really hot day or some problem because the fish that he was carrying in his mouth snapped in half and fell off. So this was the little fish that was in the bear's mouth. As you can see, the bear's kind of carrying the rest of it in his mouth, but this is a little carved detail of the fish that was in his mouth. I'm not sure what material this um, fish is made of. It's another stone, but it's a little pink stone. I'm not sure what it is, but yeah, I really like this bear and my dad bought him for me from Canada and I think he's very special. I think he's really cute. Okay, going over here now to my big jar, not jar, like my little dish, um, with all the rest of my rocks in it. My rocks, um, I mostly get from, um, like this random store in Newtown that sells like, um, a bunch of like, it's kind of like a $2 or like a funky, like flea market thrift store kind of thing. Um, but it's not secondhand. I don't know. It's really random. This is random store in Newtown. Um, I'll take you through each of the pieces of, you know, material in here. So first of all, I have this piece of goldstone. If you know me, I'm a Leo. And so I'm born in the month of August and goldstone is one of the August gemstones. It's called goldstone or sunstone because it glimmers like this in the sun and it's just really nice and shiny. It's like glitter in a rock. It's so intense. Um, this one has a little, like, I don't want to say chip, like a little divot in here. Um, and I bought it because I really like the smooth edges on the side. I don't know. When I choose rocks out of the whole jar, I'm like looking for rocks that I really vibe with and appreciate the shape. So when I'm like buying rocks, I'll like literally dump out the whole jar and like sort through each rock in the jar until I find the perfect one. And this was the one that spoke to me. I also have these two other pieces of like gold stone or sunstone. Um, this one is blue and it kind of is like the midnight sky. I think it's really stunning. Um, it has all these like midnight sky stars through it. it. Kind of looks like a bit of 
like glitter sapphire um but it is a gold stone in not a golden color it's a blue gold stone and i haven't seen much blue gold stone before um mostly gold stone is like in the golden color so i really love this piece of sunstone and it's beautiful in the sun and i really like the regular shape of this like it's not perfectly regular but it's kind of like a a rectangle and I think it's like a satisfying like thing um and then this one is like probably the coolest shape out of all my gold stones this one is green so maybe I'll call it an emerald stone I don't know I'm just making it up but um this gold stone is green and it's like a glittery piece of emerald it's really shiny in the sun and oh, I'll just put that fish over there and I really like the shape of this one it's kind of like a um smooth triangle it's kind of like an arrowhead sort of I don't know I just think it's a really nice shape um it fits in the hand really nicely and I just really like this piece and I love the green color I think these three colors look really nice together um and yeah I think they're amazing Okay, going over here back again um, to these more neutral stones. By the way, um, this actual little shell-shaped dish I thrifted, and I think it's really cool. It gives me mermaid vibes. It's like a frosted um, glass container. Um, this is a piece of rose quartz again, kind of like this one, but obviously this one is smooth. This one was actually part of a necklace that broke, so it's like got a raw edge there where it broke off, and it has a hole through it because that's where the wire was threaded through. But I keep it because I don't want to throw away a rock. Um, so yeah, this is my little piece of um, rose quartz. And then over here, I have this egg. This was gifted to me by my mom's cousin. Um, this egg is, I believe, moonstone. It's a moonstone egg, and you can kind of tell it gives a golden glow. This egg is glowing. It's not polished, but it's smooth, if that makes sense. Like, it has a matte finish. It's not, like, shiny the way these are. Um, but I think it's really beautiful, and I love um, moonstone. I believe this is also moonstone. Maybe it's rainbow moonstone. If I'm wrong about any of the... Um, like names of these gems please let me know in the comments down below um i'll show you in the like shade here um but it's just got all these little um details through it and it, i don't know if it'll come up on camera but it kind of reflects rainbow in the sun like the little um i don't know if it's going to come up it has little rainbow reflex in the sun i don't know if you can see that there that little like sheen it has it's really pretty love this one and it's kind of like a circular shape it's not like a perfect circle obviously but like it's more circular and I thought that was satisfying this one over here is I believe a titanium coated piece of like um maybe quartz or something um but it's really shiny and it's just a black stone underneath with um a rainbow like opalescent kind of um titanium coating and I think it's a really satisfying shape I bought this because I was like I liked the rainbow of course and I liked the shape I just thought that was a really like perfect size to like hold um and I was really satisfied by it so it wasn't expensive so I just bought it um that was like two dollars um and then this one here I believe is opalite and um it kind of is similar to this piece maybe this is opalite too I don't know don't quote me on these but look at the little rainbow it gives off I just think it's beautiful um it has all the little colors through there it's kind of like a um like it's not opaque but it's not translucent it's kind of like a foggy I'm sure there's a name for that um but it's like a foggy looking stone um with a rainbow through it and I just think it's really beautiful it looks great in the sun or in the shade I just think it's a really special rock and I love to have it but yeah those were all the rocks in my collection I hope you enjoyed looking at my little rock collection I know I don't have the largest collection ever but I love all the rocks that I do have and I'm grateful to have them in my life I think they're beautiful um I would like to collect more rocks in the future I'm not like obsessed with like hoarding a load of rocks but I would like um some more maybe animal ones I'd love to get a jade rabbit because um my Chinese zodiac year is the year of the rabbit um and I would love to get a goldstone lion because um my um zodiac sign in the like 12 months is um Leo and so I'd love a little lion made of goldstone because I feel like it's a really beautiful Leo related stone um so those are on my wish list and I'm putting it out there to manifest them coming into my life and that's all I have to say. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment anything you'd like to see from me in future down below. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. And hopefully I'll see you in a future video soon. Check out my jewelry collection if you'd like to see more rocks and random bits like that. Catch you next time. Bye!